Hello. Welcome back. Uh, it's Peter here. Look, we're now going to talk about the, how to actually do the settings for the zombie survival game. All right, so we're talking about what we're trying to do with the concept in the last video, and now we'll go through. Now, first thing is really, um, how do we actually set up the guns? And this is made a lot easier in SATA 2.0 over the previous um, 1.6a software we had. Right, in 2.0, you can use the master controller to set them to the right settings. Now, so here's the master controller, right? And what I need to do, um, I turn it on, make sure it's control outs, and I go through to the settings menu, pull the trigger, and I scroll through that until I get to the zombie sub menu. And on the zombie, so now, what I want to do is scroll through to it says normal survivor, and I can then get this gun. This is my uh, new small Spitfire, which I really like. Um, and what I want to do, I'm going to get the mask controller and I'm going to zap it. Right? And it is changed, when adapted, to exactly the right settings to as a survivor. Alright, so it's got five hit points and it's actually set it up as a Dragunov SVD rifle. So it's a semi-automatic rifle with a 10 round magazine. So it's not completely hopeless. And unlike the bolt action rifles, the semi-automatic's pretty, still quite intuitive use. You pull the trigger, bang. Pull the trigger again, bang. So anyone can do that. So it's not really a big learning curve. But it's still nowhere near as good as an AK-47. So there's a pretty good reason to try and go and get to that weapon box to get an automatic weapon, right? Um, Although, the Dragunov has the extended long range, so it's good for long range shots. Right, so that, that's all set up now. So, semi-automatic. Right, have to reload that. Does get plenty of ammunition. So, I'll turn that one off. And then, now, let's assume that the zombies are using scorpions. You use scorpions, spitfires, cobras. Um, so, fire this one up. Get his head sensor. Right, and now I'm going to use the command is it? normal zombie or norm zombie. Right? So it's a standard set. That, so the norm zombie and the normal survivor are all pre configured. So you can ready to just hit that. And now that is a zombie, and um, it's all ready to go. Now this zombie has four hit points. We found, we're running out of, we found we're running out in the woods uh, with this type of game, not close, so close quarters, um, that two hit points for the zombie was too low, right? We needed extra to go to four. So in this case, they get four. Now, you do have on your master controller some other... There we go, there's definitely a zombie. So I'll turn that off now. So that's all set. Those two are ready to go for the zombie survival. You will find also on your men menus, there's a rent, uh, rent zombie and rent survivor. And those are basically set for that zombie kill zone mission I mentioned in the other video. So you can actually uh, quickly set them. The rent means that they were designed so that you could do a rental package with them so people can run their own events. The zombie kill zone is so simple that it really can be run by people by themselves. Um, if you want to set to that and then use the unlock command on the master controller, you can, and that will get that out into rental mode. So, but otherwise, it's all set, ready to go for zombie kill zone. Um, your other option for zombies on that zombie menu uh, has a set theme. Normal theme is really just a normal game. You know, uh, team A and team B, automatic weapons, whatever you're running, but basically a normal classic sad hard game that we've run you know for years. Um, which is really cool, of course, but um, that's what it is. You can set it, the target to Apocalypse, or you can set it to Haunted, and then you you know you shoot them, and that sets that. So you can set the theme that way. Um, also, you've got set zombie HP. So I said that one was on four, but we might find that's too easy for the zombies on the particular field you're running at, so you, you could uh, set that to, say, two or three, or whatever you, you, you felt was needed. Um, the zombie sound effects at 30 every 30 seconds on off. You can turn it off and on uh, if you want from the master control. So 
And just remember that once you've set into a zombie mode, like Haunted or Apocalypse, right, setting the gun then to Team A with the Master Controller, we'll set it to the Survivor, and if you use the set team then uh, to Team B, well B is a zombie. Right, so don't forget that, right? That's people get confused. So A for survivors, B for zombies, that's hard coded. Right? Okay. So that's really much how you set up those um, the gaming guns um, to run those events. Um, the only other thing I might just quickly show you is um, the weapon mode, because remember they get the AK-47. This is very straightforward. So grab a box, um, one of our battle boxes, you know, turn it on. Push the black button, gun reset no, then I scroll through until it says weapon box, so not weapon mode, but weapon box, green button to trigger that. Uh, I normally set that to unlimited charges, so you go to zero, infinite charges, trigger that. Um, set the class, so it, in this case it says rifle already, so yes I want a rifle, and then I scroll through to what sort of rifle I want to give them, you know, and like, I, I'm going to choose AK-47 and I want it to work for Team A. So I'm scrolling through and so they get that, they're gonna get an AK-47, you know, up there, right? Which is really, really cool. So that's pretty much it. Just go up to like any box and get, get the upgrade perk. All right, thanks for listening, guys.